who I, I've been playing football for a long time since I was seven years old. Mm-hmm. Always been a running back. Always played the running back position because uh, I always was a fast kid. But a uh, little quick story about how I became a running back is because um, I tried to play like in Genesis, Louisiana, like the little Pee Wee League, but they wouldn't let me play because I was over 100 pounds. Mm-hmm. So I was like, if I was over 100, I couldn't run the ball. So I had to drive down the road like 10 miles to play there. And they put me at a running back, and I just played that position ever since then. And uh, so were you playing at a bigger weight then since you had to drive down the road, and were you still just running over people even at a younger age? I mean, uh, yeah, and, and, like, you was, that was bigger, but I wasn't that big. I was maybe, like, 105. Oh, you just missed you know, the cut. <laughs> I got you. I got you. Um, and then from there, with high school came, and obviously your decision to attend Clemson for your college career was an amazing one in ret- retrospect. But what was it at the time that led you – to that choice of the huge number of options you had available? Uh, honestly, just a national championship game. And um, uh, I watched the national championship game because I was kind of in between Alabama and Clemson. Mm-hmm. And then after the game, I had visited Clemson, and I just felt like Coach Dabo and Coach Tony Elliott were just stand-up guys, and the program really just sold itself, and it just worked out like that where I felt like it was all guys doing, and Clemson sold itself. Mm-hmm. No, for sure. And they definitely have a program that does that. And uh, it definitely paid off because um, you wound up having a historic career at Clemson, leading the team and rushing each season, going to the college football playoffs four times, winning the title in 2018, and setting numerous school and ACC records along the way. Looking back, what are you most proud of, and do you have any favorite memories that stick out to you? I would say what I'm most proud of is just um, just the friendships and the relationships that I built. Um my years throughout Clemson. I feel like those relationships I built are going to last a lifetime, and I feel like uh, Coach Sweeney and everyone who's there just had a great plan to play for the guys after football. And I would say the biggest thing that stick out was probably just um, my freshman year, just being a, a young guy, not knowing what I want to do, not knowing, uh, just, just being new, being 12 hours away, how they embraced me. Mm-hmm. I just kind of knew that I, I was at the right place, and I feel like, that will always stick out to me because I feel like Clemson always would be a place uh, I could call home. Yeah, that's no, that's amazing, and that's definitely a big factor. Uh, I sound like in your decision making process, and that just shows you that Clemson has that family aspect with Coach Dabo um, and just the guys you've built relationships over the years. Um, is there a specific game outside the national championship that sticks out to you when you look back at your Clemson days? Uh, yeah, I, I would say uh, probably my freshman year uh, we were playing. Um, Louisville in in Louisville and uh, I think it was like the first game that I actually started off on kickoff return and uh it just goes to show you how much belief that coach Sweeney had in me because like I, I would say like, the first two kickoffs I, I dropped both of them oh wow yeah I, I dropped both of them but like he came in and uh he came in the, so we were going to have time he came in he was like you're going to get this kickoff return you're going to run it back do all those good things mm-hmm. and I dropped it again and then, like, uh, towards the third quarter, you put me in at running back, and I had, like, an 81-yarder. Amazing. And that, and that was kind of, like, the confidence that I needed to go in forward and just really just seeing that how much he believed in me and, and still stuck with me at the starting position and it kind of just showed me that mm-hmm. that who, who Coach Sweeney was, uh, the ability that I had, and just get to work, and, and everything just worked out from there. Absolutely, man. I love that you mentioned that as your story that stands out because um, I honestly expected you to be like, oh, my 200-yard rushing game had four touchdowns or something. But it just shows the impact that, again, Coach Sweeney had on you um, and the culture there at Clemson where um, even though you did fumble the ball three times, he just still believed in you, put you in at back, and you went for 81 yards as a freshman, which is just insane, man, that he had that trust in you. Um, but also shows the character that you have and the type of player you are, so that's amazing. Um, uh, not Definitely. I, I feel like and that's what a lot of people like Clemson and like that's what guys don't understand. I feel like it's about, I mean, football, we're there for football, but I feel like Coach Sweeney makes it, makes it more than just football. Mm-hmm. He's, he's there to build better men and, and, and better men first than players. So I appreciate them and he instills stuff and that's going to last us a lifetime. No, I love that, man. And again, that's just amazing culture, especially in college as you're like building like, young men. It's good to have that leader. Um, and I'm sure that impact's still going to reflect on your NFL days and uh, life after the NFL. So that's amazing. 
Um, last question, Travis, about your college days. Um, we can't move on without talking about Trevor Lawrence. So is there any particular funny or interesting or interesting stories that stick out to you with your time with him in college? Uh, I would say um, just it was just interesting to see how, how far he came uh, throughout his college career just uh, from day one, just being that freshman, being that guy that never talked, um, was just quiet, kind of shy. Mm-hmm. And then, like when he when we were getting ready to get out of there, he he would never shut up. No way, that's awesome. Yeah, and he he just kind of grew into himself, became a leader, and just commanded the locker room. No, that's and it was awesome. just awesome to see that transition. Mm-hmm. And do you think a big part of that was just development through college, like maturing almost? Uh yeah, no, uh, most definitely. Just uh, just being around a bunch of like when you first get there, like he's an eighteen year old kid. Um, you got you got guys who've been the seniors who've been there, kind of got respect and stuff like that. So it, it's just all part of the culture, just having to just wait your turn and just grow into who you is. And and uh, and Trev, he is amazing talent. He's a very talented person. So people are going to rally behind that. But mm-hmm. for him to just lead by the way that by his actions, it makes it even easier to get behind him. No, for sure, and that's amazing. And it seems like that leadership from Dabo rubbed off on him, which is just so special. And um, kind of staying on Trevor, but can you just take us through your 2021 NFL draft experience? What was the pre-draft process like for you, and how did you feel when you finally found out that you're rejoining Trevor Lawrence in Jacksonville? Uh, so I would say the the draft experience was crazy. I feel like uh, looking back on it, it went by really fast, but it, it was also just kind of like just weird to see how I got drafted to the Jacksonville Jaguars when. I maybe had like one conversation with him throughout the whole draft process. Interesting, yeah. So, um, just just going, I, I just kind of thought like just going into it. Um, so it was kind of like the COVID stuff going on, so we didn't have the um, didn't have the combine, missed mm-hmm. out on that. So we were just kind of working, just working for the uh, pro day, and did all that. And then, like I said, I had one call with the Jaguars. So come draft time, uh, everyone knew Trev was going number one. Mm-hmm. So Trev get picked. The whole the whole house is hype and we're happy for him. And then it the the next twenty four picks felt like the longest time of my life. I bet, man. Like it's probably the longest time of my life. And then to get my hit to get my name called at twenty five, it was just, it was unbelievable because Trev went there and then like the wait is finally over. Mm-hmm. And I mean I mean I got Trev. I feel like me and him played three years at college together, so. It had been easier to transition. Didn't have somebody to help me through that transition. And we could lean on each other throughout the whole process. Mm-hmm. So I, I was very excited to be with Trev. And like, I'm like, like you, I've seen him for three years. I know what his ceiling could be. I know the things that he can do. Mm-hmm. And I feel like he's going to be special. And I mean, I want to be a part of that. No, so a- I was, I was really happy. Yeah, no, that is absolutely amazing and stoked for you for that. Because while he does have that insane ceiling, like you mentioned. There's just a special part of just knowing your friends walk into that process with you, I bet, because not the same for me, not the, like not the same at all, but like I'm thinking of uh, my life. And when you have a friend in the class you're going to on the first day of school, you feel more comfortable. So I imagine walking yeah, yeah. the it, process. Yeah, yeah, it's You have somebody you know you can, exactly. you can talk to at any time or just go to someone exactly. about anything. And, and I kind of love that we're together because we built that friendship outside of football. So That's awesome. Me, me and him is – I mean, I love that. Like, I, I remember the first pitch in the game, and I, did, and, uh, I look around, and I'm like, God dang. I'm like, I, I, like, do I belong here? Then I see Trev, I'm like, okay, it's just football. Love that. No, I love that. And that definitely is going to help, I think, both of you as you guys go with your uh, NFL career, man. So stoked for you that you have Trev back, and uh, really excited to see what you guys do in Jacksonville this year with uh, Dougie P. Um, but unfortunately, your first NFL season was stopped in its tracks due to a foot injury that occurred in the preseason. What positives do you think you've been able to take away from the setback that will help you as you go forward in your career? I will say, I feel like God sent me down for a reason. And I feel like uh, just, I just care much more about it. I feel like uh, I don't, I won't ever take it for, I didn't take it for granted then, but now I have just a, a different appreciation for you. it. Yeah. Like you, you don't know how much you really love something until it's gone. And just being away from the game for so long, I feel like, my love for the game is going to propel me even further than it would. Because, um, like, like, you, like you said, I had an amazing career. I never had an injury. 
So I, I, I never really had that, that time away from the game. So having that time away from the game, she made me realize how much I really loved it and missed mm -hmm. it. And like realizing that this is the last stage of my career. There, there's not, after the NFL, there's nothing. Mm -hmm. So just having that, I feel like God put in perspective for me that I have to go all out every, every chance that I get because you never know when's the last play going to be. Right. No, I, I love that mentality, man. And I think that mindset's important for you to definitely have too because I'm sure in the moment it didn't make sense, but I can see you're reflecting back on it and you see there is a purpose behind it, man. So that is amazing. Do you also think there's like a benefit? Because I always heard it's difficult as a rookie just learning the systems, learning the speed of the NFL. Do you think there is like a benefit of being on the sidelines, watching everyone else learn and just having another year of, well, it's a new playbook under, under Dougie, but like learn the NFL speed in the game from the sidelines? Uh, I mean, I mean, I, I definitely learned from it, but I mean, I definitely want to be out there getting that firsthand experience. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, I, I mean, the NFL is fast. It's always going to be fast. And like, you, you just tell this different speed throughout practice. Okay. So yeah. it's always going to be fast. But I mean, um, I, I feel like that year, this past year, I learned how to be a pro before. Like before I actually was even playing. So yeah. I feel like it kinda helped me just be able to set my schedule up for this year, like to know the things that I can do or things that's gonna work to help me be the best player that I can be. So mm -hmm. I'm thankful for that. And I got a year to just get get my body fully healthy so that way I'm I'm able to withstand the whole season. Mm -hmm. No man. And I think you have again the right mindset going this year and I'm excited to see what you guys do on the field, man. And uh we're all from the NFL All Day community. There's 200 people listening right now, Travis, and I know there'll be 200 people rooting for you this year, man. Wishing you the best along the way. Um, what are you most looking forward to as we get close to the start of the 2022 NFL season? I'm honestly looking forward to the first game, uh, first game, and our first victory. Uh, that's what I'm probably looking forward the most to. I feel like I've been away from the game for so long. Mm -hmm. I've been waiting forever to play, so just. Just getting back out there, uh, getting tackled, just smelling the grass, just being back out there with the guys, I feel like is what I'm going to cherish the most because I haven't been there in so long. So never get that first victory, that, mm -hmm. that first touchdown, just just being able to do all those things for the first time again. I, I haven't done it so long, so that's what I'm most looking forward to. No, that's awesome, man. And uh, hopefully we can get you uh, first touchdown as an NFL all day moment on the platform, man. And then you can add that. Yes, sir. I, I mean, yeah. I touched down and then I have I, I, I me mean, I, I buy my own uh, NFL all day. <laughs> I love it, man. You got that mindset already, Travis. And I, I love that. Um, is there a specific game on this season, like on the schedule this season that sticks out to you that you have circled on the calendar or something? Uh, no, uh, not really. I, I, I would say kind of. Um, the Ravens, mm -hmm. uh, me and Patrick Queen, we're uh, really good friends. And and uh, so in high school, he beat me in high school. Uh, in college, they beat him in the championship. So I'm definitely looking forward to get my payback yes, for him sir. finally. I love that. And uh, I know you guys will – it's perfect he's a linebacker because you guys will be going at it all day. And I'm sure you guys will just enjoy that together, man. But um, all right, one last question, Travis, before we jump into NFL All Day talk. Again, guys, Travis just launched – um, his site through Athlete Studio. So I'm going to share that in chat real quick. If you guys just take a moment, check it out. Um, it has some dirt, dope merch on there. Um, Travis, I had to cop your NTN season white tee. Um, that was just one of the cool shirts I've ever seen. Tr I, I truthfully mean that. Um, so guys, take a look at it. Some really cool stuff. But Travis, outside of winning titles, what personal goals have you set for yourself for your football career, both on and off the field? Uh, on and off the field, I would say on the field, uh, I mean, I want to be one of the best to ever play the game when it's all said and done. I want to I want to be up there with the greats. I mean, I want to have a great career. I mean, that, that, that that's why we play the game. We don't play the game to be average. So I definitely want to just be one of the best that I can be. Uh, and Jacksonville has some great guys to look up to and that I'm, I'm coming behind. Uh, Maurice Jones Drew, Fred Taylor. So just coming after those guys, I feel like they set the bar and – I, I gotta I gotta follow. I got a standard to play to, so I'm really excited to just follow in their footsteps. And I would say outside of the game, uh I just wanna be a great person. I wanna I I just wanna impact the world. Just uh be a part of something that's bigger than myself. So when it's all said and done, 
when, when, when I'm in the grave, I'll have something that's going to stand forever. Mm-hmm. I love that. Yeah, now that you're just Travis, the football player who was amazing on the field, but you made an impact on people's lives outside. That's, that's amazing, man. And uh, we appreciate what you're doing for your community and will continue to do. Um, and with that, Travis, let's talk to NFL all day. Um, I know you do have a count, but how did you first hear about NFL all day? Now, I first heard about it, uh, I want to say from Sam. He's a marketing guy. He was telling me about it. He was kind of like uh, just – he kind of explained it to me like in uh, NBA Top Shot. Mm-hmm. So that's how he kind of explained it to me. And then I hopped on the Zoom call, and they kind of explained it to us more. And and I was like, man, I got to get some. I got to get some. And then wow. I set my account up and everything. And I did buy a couple of uh, cars. So just some guys I had liked. I had wanted to get the Trevor Lawrence car. Mm-hmm. But it was kind of it was it was it was expensive, and I was like, man, ho- ho- hopefully I just pull one out of his pull one out of the uh, box of cars one day. <laughs> that that is a good way to try to get one. Um, it's funny because as we're speaking, there's people in chat like, yo, I gotta get me some more Trevor Lawrence moments, and I, I do know, like you said, they are not cheap. So um, take your time with that. Obviously, you collect responsibly, but like you said, I see you have some Elijah Mitchells. I see you have a Tyson Campbell. What made you go after those guys? I went after Elijah Mitchell because I feel like I, he's going to be a great player. I feel like I, I, I watched him with the 49ers and just I love his style. And I feel like no one really knows about him right now. But like in two to three years, I feel like he's going to be an amazing player. And and that, that $8 card to be worth something one day. And I feel like Tyson Campbell just uh, seeing him, I feel like I've been around him. And I, I mean, I, I know he's going to be good, so... Mm-hmm. I feel like I got those two players because I like them, and I know they're going to be great players. No, that's cool, man. And that's fun that you're collecting from a place out of, one, you want to, like, support your friends kind of through the moments because you respect their game. But, two, you're like, yo, Elijah Mitchell is going to be a stud one day. He's going to be a bigger name in the league. Let me hop on him now and <laughs> get his moments. So that that's a really cool approach, man. And, again, we appreciate you being here. Appreciate you supporting the Yeah, nah, but, and, man, uh, I, I – I... I've been meaning to buy some more cars. I just got to get on it. All good, yeah. I just got to get on it. But I know I'm going to get a couple more cars um, before the season starts because I want to get most of those guys. And I'll probably just lock in and just go and get that Trev car because <laughs> I feel like it's going to be a great year. And, I mean, uh, yep. I'm investing in Trev so because I cause, cause I know what he's going to do and I know that car is going to be worth a lot. Yeah, sir. You're get on get on now before uh, it goes up in uh, the next season or so. Uh, love that, man. So, Prior to NFL today, did you have any Web3 or NFT experience? If not, man, it's cool because even speaking for myself, Top Shot was my first experience. But just curious if you were involved elsewhere. Uh, no, I actually had none. Okay, cool. Uh, so the NFL day is my, my first experience. That's the first time I ever brought like a, a digital card or something like that. So mm-hmm. I feel like that's why I was kind of passive about it. But I feel like I want to get into that space. Cool, man. And we, again, we are so appreciative that you're here and it shows that you're in and on the space and our product just being here, man. So again, thank you. And this is a great stepping stone. And if you ever have questions, man, you're now in the Discord. If you go and chat and ever say anything, Travis, you probably have 20 people trying to help you. So we're always here to help, man. Um, and just so happy that you're involved. So is there anything specifically about NFL all day that excites you from a player's perspective, like with you being in the league? Uh, for me, I would say... Is getting my first uh my first NFL all day card. Yes, sir. Uh, it's probably going to last a lifetime, and and when I'll be able to buy my own cards, it's like that's what most excite me because like I don't have any cards right now, so I'm, I'm just really pleased so I can make some. Mm-hmm. <laughs> now, we'll be keeping an eye on you week one, man, as you're out there, and uh, I'll be hitting up Sam and Dior on our partnerships team if when we see you balling out, be like, yo, we gotta get the Trav a moment, and then when that happens, I'm sure all of us in here will be tweeting at you. Um, whether to make that a moment or saying, yo, Travis, hop in the pack drop, your moment's finally here, and you can scoop it. Um, so, no, that's exciting, man. And I'm sure you'll collect, like you said, Trevor. You already have Tyson, other teammates, and just add to your Jaguar wag- Jaguars collection, man. So, um, all right, last question, and the, we have a couple more fun ones at the end. This one's about NFL All Day. If you could choose any moment from NFL history to become an NFL All Day moment, what would it be? It could be a Jaguars play from any time or any iconic NFL moment. Oh, that's a great question. I, I probably would say uh, the Oda Beckham catch. Yep. Uh, it, y- y'all probably have that already a, a moment, but I would we, say that we catch. We do not, but like that would be a perfect I, 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 one. I, 
Yeah, because I feel like that just transcended the the whole game in, in, mm-hmm. in a kind of a way. I feel like you see guys out there trying to make those one-handed catches now. You see where Odell wears from that. Mm-hmm. And, I mean, that, it was a great catch. <laughs> no, that that is a perfect answer because right. – I think that moment like just broke the internet when it happened. Like, what did we just it witness? Did. And like you said, it kind of just revolutionized like, not really trick shots in games, but like like you said, people are replicating the catch whether it's on TikTok or YouTube. Like, it just kind of just it was just iconic when you think of like crazy NFL catches. Like Odell's at the top of mind. Oh yeah, no, nah, I, I would say that moment, or I would say Reggie Bush touchdown. It was against the Bears. I'm trying to remember that. And one. he kind of just ran do? all over the field and. I remember, I remember watching that as a kid because I, I, I'm from Louisiana, so I love the Saints. Mm-hmm. So just watching him just do that, it was crazy. No, Reggie Bush would definitely have a lot of moments on our platform. And we have these things oh, called yeah. melts, him, Travis. Him for... and uh, Marshawn Lynch. Yes, Marsh- sir. I remember that run, Marshawn Lynch versus the Saints. Yes. The, we kind of like just beat everybody. And then... oh, yeah, so gosh. I feel like it, there's a lot of great moments in the NFL that could become just big moments. Mm-hmm. And that's, again, that's what's so special about our platform while – we do have moments from the season. We have these historic moments. So, um, Marshawn, Odell, and Reggie would be great options for those historic moments for sure, man. And uh, those are all great answers. And I appreciate you giving a few of them because we're just reflecting on the past now. But again, guys, I'm going to share Travis's Athlete Studio link. Um, for those that don't know, Travis just partnered with Athlete Studio, um, who are part of Dapper Labs, and your site with them recently went live last week. Travis, can you tell us about your plans for your partnership with them and anything exciting in the pipeline? Uh, yes, sir. So I feel like we have a lot a lot of things that's going to be coming out, and I feel like uh, I'm just excited to get to work with them because I feel like they give me the opportunity to be, to, to, to have a, a voice to say something about my clothing. They're not just making it for me. I have, an, I, I have my own ideas. Love I send that. it to them, and they... It's user friendly, so I feel like we're going to have a lot of things come out for this season. Uh, we're going to be going like the comeback season kind of like theme. So I feel like there's going to be a lot of great drops throughout the whole year, and, and uh, it's, it's it's going to be more like streetwear clothing. So you'll be able to wear it like daily, or dress it up, or dress it down. So I feel like it's going to be a lot of swaggy stuff, and mm-hmm. people are going to love it. Love it, man. Again, guys, I was on there earlier, copped a white tee. You guys don't have to, obviously, but it's really cool stuff that you guys need to check out. And for those that just joined, we are giving away two $50 gift codes so you can rep some of Travis's merch. Um, I just put the Google form in chat for y'all, and I just click it, fill it out with your dapper info. Um, and after Travis's AMA, we will pull the winners live here. So stay tuned. Um, but Travis, I had to share the story with you real quick. This is the last question. As we announced your AMA, I got a message on Discord, and I just couldn't believe this, but it's a guy named Alex, and he shared a story on how you impacted their life. Alex and his wife are FSU fans, but when they watched the Clemson-Alabama championship game at a bar earlier in the relationship, they were immediately impressed with your running and loved your name. Both Alex's father and father-in-law were named Stephen, and after learning that Entian in French is French for Stephen, him and his wife just laughed and were blown away by it and saw it as a sign. So three years later, they now have an 18-month-old named Entian who is running circles around them. I just thought it was crazy Yo, that, nah, they, that they that's just... That's amazing. Nah, that's crazy. I know. Uh, I mean, I, I feel like that's just... that, that That's affirmation that God is real because I feel like me just playing a football game, uh, being able to impact people by the way that I play the game, I feel like that's why I'm ready to get back to the mm-hmm. game because people watch me and they find inspiration through seeing me play. And I'm just being me. I'm just doing what, what I love to do. So I love that I can impact someone like that. No, I love that, man. And such a cool story. And I can see Alex is tuning in right now. So shout out, Alex. Thank you for reaching out. And we hope uh, little Entian's doing well and will be a beast on the phone. Uh, yeah, yeah. You got to keep me updated Keep me updated <laughs> on him. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we will, Travis, uh, once he picks up the ball and starts running around. But Travis, this has been so much fun, man. Thank you. Um, again, guys, check out him on socials. I will link those right now as well as his Athlete Studio page. But, Travis, good luck this season, man. We're all rooting for you. And uh, we'll let you know when you get that NFL day moment because it's, it's bound to happen. Oh, yes, sir. Not definitely. I, but I ain't going to lie. I, I think after my first play, my first touchdown, I'll be reaching out to y'all for it <laughs> <laughs> to get it going. Yo, so. man, you, this has been a blast, Travis. Seriously, man. I just love your passion for all day and just chatting with me, man. So you're welcome back anytime. 
And, uh, yeah, when you get that touchdown, just find the nearest camera and say, and we need this play on NFL all day or something to show some <laughs> love, I guess. Uh, but, Travis, man, have a blessed day. Thank you, man. This was so much fun.